because there is a secret rivalry between these two cities, you more often can meet snobs in St. Petersburg and glamorous people in Moscow. As a typical Russian woman, I can say I didn't notice that way feminism uh, passed in Russia. There is a prejudice that uh, women drive uh, less professional than men. Hello guys, my name is Tanya, I'm Ruski and this is my channel and this is a new type of video where I am answer your question, any question about Russia. So if you can't find in the internet some information about Russia, just ask Tanya. So let's go and first question goes from uh, East-West Connection. What is the similar and differences between Moscow and St. Petersburg? Guys, you know, it is a really deep question because there is a secret rivalry between these two cities and there are many differences. St. Petersburg, it is more spiritual city. City with a fascinating architecture where people live in historical center, in a historical building and apartment. You can see it watching video which I and Sergei Baklikov uh, made uh, for his channel Real Russia about the most uh, beautiful hallway in St. Petersburg. And it is a place actually where uh, normal St. Petersburg people live. The fact that St. Petersburg people live in so beautiful place and also in St. Petersburg uh, most uh, overcast weather. And I think these two facts make you more creative. There are many creative people and famous creative people who live in St. Petersburg. And this is atmosphere make you to think about uh, eternal things and be more creative and more gothic. Moscow is different. Moscow is about business and how to earn money. Moscow life in a full swing. People, everything runs somewhere and do something. Meanwhile, St. Petersburg people uh, do everything slowly. And actually, uh, Moscow citizens complain that St. Petersburg people work really slowly. You more often can meet snobs in St. Petersburg and glamorous people in Moscow. Moscow is the capital of Russia and big center and that is why many people move to Moscow for earn money, or for better life. And that is why there are a lot of different Russians from all country in Moscow. And Moscow is different. Instead of St. Petersburg, is more uniform and even you move from villages or some small city to St. Petersburg you actually quickly got used to this St. Petersburg atmosphere and become snob. There are St. Petersburg words. What is it? It is the several words which have different name in St. Petersburg. For example, all Russian can say yes, but in Petersburg people say paradne. All Russian would say bardur, St. Petersburg people would say paredek. Russian would say griechka, St. Petersburg people say griechka. Shaurma, shayurma. As you know, I live in St. Petersburg and I really love this city. St. Petersburg doesn't fit everybody because of weather, more dramatic atmosphere and also that slowly people. And also one more fact about St. Petersburg, when warm days come to us in the spring and in the summer, all people go outside. It seems like nobody sit at home, even old lady and toddlers uh, everybody go outside. I think it's connected with uh, that we all tired from uh, bad weather during the year and when we get warm days we um, want to take pleasure with it. 
I hope I correct uh, to say I know that pleasure it's uh, some tricky word and also because of white night of course open bridge it is, it is the most beautiful and for general citizen uh, you know it is a typical situation when you uh, hang out with your friends somewhere and uh, it is uh, light uh, on the sky but you suddenly understand that uh, wow it is around midnight uh, when it happened. Many people were lost in time in this period. So I think I say a lot of about St. Petersburg and not so much about Moscow. Sorry, Moscow citizen. What is the Russian favorite sports? Russia is a country of winter sports. Imagine. These sports uh, are developed very good in Russia, like biathlon, ski and hockey, figure skating. But anyway, if you say about sports, as a show that the most favorite sports for Russia is a definitely football and after that goes hockey, figure skating and gymnastics. Russia is a big fan of football and our national team is not a leader on the international level but who cares it is not reason not to be fun and not to be patriotic. <laughs> Every big world competition unites almost all Russian in front of TV. And I made video how World Cup was going in Russia this summer, so watch it. There are several headliners team in Russia. It is Zenit, Zenit from St. Petersburg. It is a favorite team for St. Petersburg people. Also CSKA, Spartak and Lokomotiv. Also we like to watch hockey less than football, but still. The fact that football and hockey gather the most Russian on the stadium. Russian watch figure skating less than football and hockey, but it is a respective kind of sport for us because we have a strong school and we have a really uh, strong sportsmen. They take prize place on the all world competition and the fact that since 2040 our girls has been dominating in the world in the women single figure skating. They are record holders and we're proud of it. Question. If you know what does banking work in Russia, in example how does one get a loan for a car and an apartment. Loan for a car and apartment is popular in Russia. Loan for apartment is a mortgage. And generally Russian buy apartment in the city rather. First of all, your income and its stability. You have to have official job. You should prove your income and your credit quality. And your credit story is also important. There are also age limit. You can take mortgage if you're younger, 20 and and older 65 years old. Initial fee has becoming a requirement of most Russian banks. It is about 10-15%. Average mortgage rate in Russia is 10%. The generally accepted rules is that a monthly mortgage payment should not exceed 60% of your income. About advantages. In Russia, you can pay mortgage partly by maternity capital. This is the amount which every Russian woman received at the birth of the second and subsequent children. And also in Russia there is some program for young family which allow you to take mortgage at a favorable rate. Have you met a lot of Americans in St. Petersburg? Actually no, I have not met a lot of Americans in St. Petersburg. But obviously, St. Petersburg is a tourist city. I can say that um, there are a lot of plenty of Americans here. Maybe I just didn't meet them. And also, there is no tendency for Americans to move in St. Petersburg. I rather see people from Asia. How has the third wave feminism on your life and uh, Russia as a whole? As a typical Russian woman, I can say I didn't notice that wave feminism uh, passed 
in Russia. Actually, I had no idea that two else a wave of feminism was before. Sorry for my ignorance and thank you for question because I started this question and I knew some interesting facts about Russia and feminism. The point is that in Russia feminism goes a different way. Besides only first wave of feminism, which was in the start of 20th century, and Russia was one of the first country which gave a Russian woman voting and another rights. And do you know why? Because the principle of feminism coincide with ideas of socialists who take political power in Russia after revolution and emancipation was in their interests. In 60s, in the time of the second wave of feminism, in USSR actually there was no problem with female oppression. At least Soviet women thought so. There was a developed system of state support women. Soviet women had uh, equal with the men right to job, right to divorce, to abortion, and also a government uh, support uh, women uh, when they have a maternity leave. And third way, if I correctly understand that the main issue of third wave of feminism is a question of freedom of choice gender and cancel word gender at all. All these discussions are happening in Russia as well, but maybe not so freely in a little community, uh, not uh, widely. Russia is a country where gender separation is important. Man is man, woman is woman. About sexism, what I am noticed. In Russia there is a prejudice that uh, women drive less professional than men. And there is derogatory saying Baba Zerulion. It is said that even women think so. If we say about harassment and domestic violence, um, uh, actually if this situation happened with a Russian woman, she can receive support, like law, legal, but there is a one little thing. You should not speak about it freely, openly, in social media, in mass media, it is not okay. Even if she write, society not support her. On the other hand, in general, Russian women don't need feminism. Maybe that is why feminism is not so developed in our country. Because most of Russian women don't seek to defend their rights. I think most of them satisfied and actually we have some privileges, ethical, cultural, legal, we have a long paid maternity leave. It is customary to take care about women like paid for her in the restaurant, open door and uh, take uh, her, uh, I don't know, bags and a lot of a lot of uh, this little stuff. It is absolutely okay if Russian women earn less money than men. And to be honest, Russian women are happy with that. And that is why feminism, it is not our story, maybe. So guys, what do you think about new type of video? I think if you like it, we can make it regularly. So I wait your feedback in comment and maybe new questions. And you know, if your friend asks you something about Russia and you don't know what to answer, just say, ask Tanya and send them this video. So see you next time. Я вас люблю. Bye-bye.